Hi everyone, welcome back to Codera. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem A, that is long comparison from the latest Code Forces Educational Round 118, which was rated for Division 2. So it says that Monoka wrote down two numbers on a whiteboard and both the numbers are following a specific format. So the format is that uh, you both the numbers, uh, let's say the first, let's say there is a number. So that number is a positive integer X and the number has P zeros appended towards the end right what does this mean so let's say that you have uh, been given a number so you have been given the description of that number only so let's say x is equal to 2 so that this is given and it is given that it has p zeros in the end let's say i give that p is equal to 5 so in that case the number would look like this that is it will be having five zeros at the end right this is what it would look like so since you are given two numbers so what will be given is you will be given x1, you will be given x1 and p1 and you will be given x2 and p2 and what you have to do in this question is, in this question you have been asked to compare these numbers, you have to, you have been given the specification of these numbers that is uh, the number is having a positive integer x and it is having p zeros at the end appended to it. So that is why now what you have to do is, you will be given x1 and p1 for the first number and you will be given x2 and p2 for the second number and since you can see that x1, p1 uh, and x2, p2 are all 10 to the power 6, right? So what you have to do in this question is, in this question you have to simply uh, compare the number of first number with the second number and print the resultant output, right? I have copied the test cases. Let us have a look at each test case one by one. Okay. And let me copy the answers for these test cases as well. So for these test cases, what you will be doing is, you will be comparing these numbers. But since you can see that the values are large, so you have to do this in optimally. Many people were not able to do this, do this question in short span of time. So let us discuss what could have been the best approach. So let's say if you are given... First of all, what can be the basic situation? Let's say that I give you a number. Let's say I give you x1 is equal to 3 and p1 is equal to 10, right? So that means that uh, 3 into 10 to the power 10, right? This will be the number. Now, let's say I give you x2 is equal to, let's say 50 and I give you p2 as equal to what? p2 equal to 9. So in this case, what will happen? In this case, you can see that it is very difficult to get. Why? Because what is happening in this case, the number of digits, what will be the number of digits for this one? So the number of digits for this one will be 3 and then there will be 10 zeros appended at the end. Similarly, for this number, there will be 50 and then there will be 9 zeros. Okay, there will be 9 zeros appended at the end. So the length will be the same. Here also you are having 10 digits. And here also you are having 10 digits, right? But but what if we take another case? Let's take another test case and see what can when is the situation when we can determine, right? So if I have a situation such that let's say x1, we have been given x1, right? X1 can be a number. X1 can be and x1 can be between 1, 2, 10 to the power 6, right? So that is why what I'll do for x1 and x2, I'll find their length. What will be the length of the first digit? Length of first number. What will be the length of first number? So it will be nothing but uh, I will take x1 as a string. Okay, so I will find the x1 dot size plus p1. That will be the length of the first number. And what will be the length for the second number? Length of second number is nothing but x2 dot size. That is the size of the number that has been given. So for this the size will be 2, right? plus p2 that is the number of uh, zeros that you are adding at the end so if if you get this so the length of the first number if you get the length of the first number and length of the second number so you basically know that while comparison if the length of one number is greater than the length of another number so that will simply indicate that uh, the number will be greater right let us have a look at some of the cases for this so let's say if you have been given if you have been given the case where you have any situation can be there it ultimately let's say total one total one or let's say length one let's say length one if my length one is greater than length two in that case 
I'll print that the first number is greater, right? If my length 1 is lesser, length 1 means x1 dot size plus p1, right? And length 2 means x2 dot size plus p2. So since in this case, you can see that if length 1 is less than length 2, so in that case, you can say that the second number is greater, right? This is what you will do. Now, there comes a third situation. When your length for both the numbers is the same, when does this happen? So this will happen in the case that has that I've given you above. So you can see this case for this case, what will happen for this case? What will be the value of length one? So length one will be nothing but x1 dot size. That is one plus 10 plus p1 that will give me an 11, right? After this, what will the length two? So the length two will be x2 dot size. That is two digits are here. So two plus 9 this also gives me 11 now I cannot determine with the length that whether the first number is greater or the second number is greater but wait what can we do shall we shall we multiply these numbers that much number of times with the zeros no you don't need to do that let us observe something let us observe something since you know that the length for both the numbers will be same so what can we observe so if you will see this question let let me just uh, uh, decrease the constraint for this problem if let's say instead of having this if I had here 4 and if I had 3 here so this number would look like 3 0 0 0 and 0 and this number would let me decrease a little bit more for much clarity so let's say if this was 2 and this was 1 right so in this case what will you do in this case the number this number first number would look like what you have 3 and then you have two zeros after that so this will look like 300 imagine right x2 will look like what 50 and you have another zero after it so you can see that the second number is greater but wait how do you determine that because what i'm saying is the length for both these numbers is the same right the length for both of these numbers is the same but will you generate the complete number no you don't need to do that because the constraints are pretty tight and it is not optimal to do such thing so how do you generate a scenario such that you are able to do this in an optimal manner. So since you know that both the numbers can be, uh, both the numbers are of equal length, right? So you only need to do one thing. You only need to check for the x1 value, right? You only need to check for the first value that is the digit number that has been given because you know that the number of digits, the length of the number will be the same. So what you should do, if you will check that if x1 is less than 50, right? If x1 is x1 is less than x2 so in that case what you will do you will multiply because you know both of the length both of them are having the length that is same so what will happen in this case if x1 is less than x2 so you will multiply it by 30 you will multiply it by 10 so now my x1 value will become what x1 value becomes nothing but 30 right after that you will check is x1 less than x2 no it's not no, it's not right. What basically we are trying to do is we are trying to imagine a situation. So let's say the number is x1 and there are several zeros, right? Then let's say the number is x2, then there are several zeros. As Assuming that uh, the length for both will be same, right? But it is not uh, necessary that x1 and x2 both are uh, of same digit. Both are of same length, right? So in this case, let's say you have 3 and then you have 50. So we will try to do what? We will try to... A, we will try let's say this is the case so in this case what we will try to do we will try to bring it till this length right so if is my x1 less than x2 yes it is less than x2 so i'll multiply it with a zero right after this what do i get i get 30 is x1 still less than, less than x2 yes it is still less than x2 what will i do i'll multiply it with a zero again right similarly for this case what will i do i have 50 now now my x1 value has changed now I'll check for x2. Is my is my x1 greater than x2? Yes, it is greater than x2. I'll check for both. First of all, I'll check if x1 is less than x2. Then I'll check if x1 is greater than x2. So I can see that x1 is greater than x2, right? So what I'll do, I'll multiply it with a 10. So this now becomes 50, right? Since you know that the length for both will be the same, right? So in the end, what we are trying to do is we are, we are trying to generate the numbers and then we will be comparing. So since you can see this, so after this, you can see that finally x2 will be greater than x1 because you don't know that the number of digits are same. And you can here also see that the number of digits have become same. So in this way, you can see that x2 is greater than x1. So that is why you will print that uh, x uh, second number is greater, right? 
let us look at the sum of the test cases for this problem so that we can understand the problem better right so if i have another case let's say i have the case where let's say i have this case that is i have 2 and 1 and i have 19 and 0 so let me uh, write it in terms of x1 and x2 so if i have x1 as 2 and uh, p1 as equal to 1 right if i have this case and if i have x2 is equal to 10 and p2 is equal to 2 so in this case what can happen in this case can you see something so if you will observe this problem so in this uh, i have taken the wrong case sorry so for this it is 19 and it is 0 okay so this is the first test case so if you will look at this test case so what is the situation the situation is that 1 plus 1 that is x1 dot size plus p1 which give me 2 and x2 dot size which is 0 plus uh, which is 2 plus 0 that is p2 will give me 2 so now i cannot determine it with the number of digits the number of digits in both will be the same you know that one is a uh, one is uh, number one is 20 and the number two is 19 but how do you check what you can do is you will simply apply the method that i have told you if x1 is less than x2 so you multiply x1 with 10 you update keep on updating x1 with by multiplying it with 10 if it is lesser than x1 right you do this so is x1 less than x2 so you will check is my x1 x less than x2 yes it is x1 is less than x2 because x1 is now 2 and x2 is 19 so it is less so you multiply it by 10 so it becomes 20 now is x1 less than x2 no it's not what will you do in other case you will check you will check that is x2 uh, x2 greater than x1 uh, what i am saying by x2 is i am saying the size okay what do i mean by that i mean the size so uh, let me show you here what i mean by that so if the size i am comparing the sizes okay this is what i am meaning that if the sizes are less so you will try to equalize their size right if the size is same then you can only compare right so that is what i am saying that if the sizes are not same so you will try to come up with an equal size you will try to make the sizes equal so if this is the case if 2 if 2 is less than 19 so you will multiply it by 10 and it will become this and 19 now you will check is the second number also you will check th that it's the second number lesser in size compared to the first number so that is not the case so that is why you will say that the first number is greater than the second number right let uh, in this way you can see that whenever the length of the digits whenever the length of the first number is same as the length of the second number to conclude if the length of the first number is greater than the length of the second number then you know the answer if the length of the first number is lesser than the length of the second number then also you know the answer but the problem arose when the length of the first number was equal to the length of the second number so in that case what you will do you will do x1 dot size you will keep on multiplying x1 with 10 if x1 dot size is lesser than x2 dot size and you will similarly do the task you will multiply x1 you will simply multiply x1 with 10 in this case and you will try to equalize their sizes and similarly you will check if x2 dot size is lesser than x1 dot size so in that case what you will do you will multiply x2 with 10 right after this both of them will become of equal size so after this you can simply compare the numbers right this is what you will do so let me sh show you the code part which is very basic in nature so if we look at this code what i have basically done is first of all i need to check i will take the first number as an input then the second number as an input i'll also be having a and b right so i'll take first first that is my x1 and then i have a which is p then i have the second uh, positive integer and i have b that is the number of trailing zeros at the end what i'll check is if the first number size is greater than the second size i'll simply print the greater sign for the first number if the first number is uh, number of digits in the first number is lesser than the number of digits in the second number then i'll print this sign that is first is lesser than second after that if both are same what i'll do if the size of the first number is lesser than the size of the second number so i'll multi i'll add i'll simply add since i am using string so i'll simply add so i'll simply keep on adding zeros at the end also i'll check in a while loop that is the second number or is the second positive integer that has been given to me if it is if its size is greater than the first then i'll uh, multiply for the first right you can do it in any order okay 
After that, I'll check if the first number is greater than the second number, then, then I'll print the greater sign. If the second number is greater than the first number, then I'll print uh, this, that first number is lesser than the second number. After that, if both are equal, so I'll print the equal size. Equal. So this was the whole else part that was important. Only you have to do one thing. You do not need to worry about the sizes. Uh, you do not need to consider the trailing zeros after that. Basically, you your answer will be dependent on the size first si x1 size and the x2 size. That is first dot size and second dot size. So if the first dot size, that is the x1 dot size. If it is greater than the x2 dot size, then you add zeros for x2. That is the sec second positive integer. And if x2 dot size is greater than x1 dot size, so you keep on adding zeros up until and unless it is equal okay this is how you will do it so this was it for my side if you have any doubts you can mention that in the comments and i'll be replying to them as soon as possible thank you